Welcome to the Clash of the Gods, an ongoing historical documentary series focusing in on Greek mythology, its roots, connections, and teachings towards today's society. Greek mythology is the body of myths that belong to the ancient Greeks concerning their gods and heroes that were used to create sense and order in their world. Today, we'll be focusing in on two Greek myths, Daedalus and Icarus, and the fascinating story of Theseus. Enjoy. The story of Daedalus and Icarus is about the tragic, tragic event that occurred because one son did not listen to his elder. More than 4,000 years ago, a man named Daedalus lived in Greece. He only had one son, who was named Icarus. Daedalus was well known for his inventions in architecture, a testament to his great intellect. However, his greatest work was a labyrinth built for King Minos the ruler of Crete at the time. The labyrinth was used as a prison for a monster, the Minotaur, half man, half bull, and extremely violent. The labyrinth kept the monster from destroying the lands. But the monster still had a taste for human flesh. Of course, this situation could not continue. Aided by Daedalus, a man from Athens, known as Theseus, managed to kill the monster. He fled from Athens with King Minos' daughter. In order to keep the secret of the labyrinth from the public, Daedalus was caught and imprisoned with his son in a high palace tower. Daedalus soon had a plan ready, and out of feathers and wax, he made two pairs of wings. He fitted one pair of wings on his son, while fastening the other onto his own back. He warned Icarus not to fly too low, or the water wouldn't carry him and not to fly too high, or the wax from the wings would melt and fall apart because of the sun. Icarus promised that he would stay close to his father and obey, and they set off. But in the air, Icarus took advantage of his newfound freedom. He twirled and soared through the air and was carried higher and higher until... The wax was melted because of the hot sun, and Icarus lost his wings. He plummeted towards the earth and fell down into the sea. With a broken heart, Daedalus had to continue his journey, finally arriving in Italy. Hercules came across the body some time later and recognized it, giving it a burial where today it still stands represented by the small rock in the Aegean Sea. After tirelessly analyzing Daedalus and Icarus, we've realized that at its core, it's a, it's a story of a man who approaches and undergoes many changes and mishaps in his life. Daedalus himself symbolizes innovation and progress in society. While, meanwhile, his own son represents a sense of impulsiveness and rash decision making. Through this timeless classic, there are still many lessons that can be derived, such as thinking actions through and not making rash decisions, such as Icarus did, working hard and leaving your troubles behind, and finally, respecting elders. In the story, you can see that Icarus doesn't take the advice that his father gives him, and it ultimately leads to his demise. Our second story, Theseus, is about the heroism of one man leading to the 
confusion and death of another. After King Minos of Crete defeated King Aegis of Athens, he demanded that the Athenians send seven young men and seven maidens to Crete to be sacrificed with a bull's head and a man's body. This creature was known as a Minotaur. Aegeus's son, Theseus, volunteered to go as one of the seven young men, but uniquely he aimed to kill the Minotaur. He told his father that on his return, he would replace his ship's black sails with white sails to let Aegis know that he had succeeded in his task. The Minotaur lived in a maze called the Labyrinth, from which no one could escape. It was designed by the master inventor Daedalus. When Theseus arrived in Crete, Minos's daughter, Ariadne, fell in love with him and gave him a ball of string so that he would be able to find his way out of the labyrinth. Theseus entered the labyrinth, destroyed the Minotaur, and led the Athenians to safety. But upon returning to Athens, he forgot to put up the white sails he had promised. His father presumed that his son was dead. Because of this, his father threw himself into the sea and died. Thereafter, this sea became known as the Aegean Sea. Theseus, a brave, intelligent character, is encountered. He is seen as the defying character in the plot, as he risks his life to face and defeat the Minotaur. His smarts appear as he uses string to find his way out of the maze. Symbolism in this story appears as we witness the flags and the confusion of these flags. What should have been white was black. And this led to the downfall of the king. Lessons learned in this story involve that you should always analyze a decision before actually acting. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Clash of the Gods. Come back next time where we discuss Hercules.